the new relation, mature singers, contains only those tuples for singers aged over 40, extracted from the relation singers. Note that, and Freeman, age 40, is not shown. The query explicitly stated, those over 40, and, therefore, anyone aged exactly 40, is excluded. If we wanted to include singers aged 40 and above, we could use either of the following operations, which would have the same effect. Either Relational algebra operation Restrict from singers where age is greater or equal to 40, giving mature singers to Or Relational algebra operation Restrict from singers where age is greater than 39, giving mature singers to. The result of either of these operations is shown here. Project is used on a single relation and produces a new relation that includes only those attributes requested from the original relation. This operation has the effect of choosing columns from the table with duplicate entries removed. The task here is to extract the names of the singers without their ages or any other information as shown in the next diagram. Note that if there were two singers with the same name, they would be distinguished from one another in the relation singers by having different singer ID numbers. If only the names are extracted, the information that there are singers with the same name will not be preserved in the new relation as only one copy of the name would appear. The column for the attribute singer names is shown outlined in the relation here. The following relational algebra operation creates a new relation with singer name as the only attribute. Relational algebra operation. Project singer name over singers giving singer names. Union, also called append, forms a new relation of all tuples from two or more existing relations with any duplicate tuples deleted. The participating relations must be union compatible. Here are two relations, singers and actors. It can be seen that the relation singers and actors have the same number of attributes and these attributes are th same data types. The identification numbers are numeric, the names are character fields, the address field is alphanumeric and the ages are integer values. This means that the two relations are union compatible. Note that it is not important whether the relations have the same number of tuples. The two relations, singers and actors, will be combined in order to produce a new relation, performers, which will include details of all singers and all actors. An individual who is a singer as well as an actor need only appear once in the new relation. The relational algebra operation union also known as append, will be used in order to generate this new relation. Here are the union-compatible relations, singers and actors. The union operation will unite these two relational algebra operation. Union singers and actors giving performers. Or, we could also express this activity in the following way. Relational algebra operation union actors, and singers giving performers. These two operations would generate the same result. The order in which the participating relations are given is unimportant. When an operation has this property, it is known as commutative. Other examples of this include addition and multiplication in arithmetic. Note that this does not apply to all relational algebra operations. The new relation, performers, contains one tuple for every tuple that was in the relation singers or the relation actors. If a tuple appeared in both singers and actors, it will appear only once in the new relation performers. This is why there is only one tuple in the relation performers for each of the individuals who are both actors and singers Helen Drummond and Desmond Venables Union compatible relations to form a new relation containing details of all singers and actors as they appear in both the original relations. Intersection creates a new relation containing tuples that are common to both the existing relations. The participating relations must be union compatible. Here are the two tables, singers and actors. 
as before, it can be seen that the relation singers and actors are union compatible as they have the same number of attributes and corresponding attributes are of the same data type. We can see that there are some tuples that are common to both relations as illustrated in the next diagram. It is these tuples that will form the new relation as a result of the intersection operation. Here are the common tuples of both relations. The relational algebra operation intersection will extract the tuples common to both relations and use these tuples to create a new relation. Relational algebra operation. Actors intersection singers giving actor singers. The intersection of actors and singers produces a new relation containing only those tuples that occur in both of the original relations. If there are no tuples that are common to both relations, the result of the intersection will be an empty relation, that is, there will be no tuples in the new relation. Note that an empty relation is not the same as an error, it simply means that there are no tuples in the relation. An error would occur if the two relations were found not to be union compatible. What is difference? Difference sometimes referred to as remove forms a new relation by excluding tuples from one relation that occur in another. The resulting relation contains tuples that were present in the first relation only, but not those that occur in both the first and the second relations, or those that occur in the second relation alone. This operation can be regarded as subtracting tuples in one relation from another relation. The illustration below will give us an idea about this operation. The participating relations must be union compatible to form new relation. Let us now see an example of the operation difference in the tables below. If we want to find out which actors are not also singers, the following relational algebra operation will achieve this. Relational algebra operation. Actors different singers giving only actors. The result of this operation is to remove from the relation actors those tuples that also occur in the relation singers. In effect, we are removing the tuples in the intersection of actors and singers in order to create a new relation that contains only actors. Relational algebra operation. Singers difference actors giving only singers. The effect of this operation is to remove from the relation singers those tuples that are also present in the relation actors. The intersection of the two relations is removed from the relation singers to create a new relation containing tuples of those who are only singers. In the next slide, we shall see the new relations of these operations. The operation actors, different singers giving only actors produces a new relation, only actors, containing all tuples in the relation actors, except those that also occur in the relation singers as shown in the first table. The operation singers, different actors giving only singers produces a new relation, only singers, containing all tuples in the relation singers, except those that also occur in the relation actors, as shown in the second table. What is Cartesian product? Cartesian product means multiply or times. If relation called relation A has a certain number of tuples, call this number N. This can be represented as an A, meaning the number of tuples in relation A. Similarly, relation B may have a different number of tuples, call this number M, which can be shown as MB, meaning the number of tuples in relation B. The resulting relation from the operation relation A, Cartesian product, relation B forms a new relation containing an A multiplied by MB tuples, meaning the number of tuples in relation A, times the number of tuples in relation B. The tables below will give you an example of the operation Cartesian product. Each tuple in the new relation created as a result of this operation will consist of each tuple from relation A paired with each tuple from relation B which includes all possible combinations. We shall see these combination on the next slide. In order to create a new relation which pairs each singer with each role, we need to use the relational operation Cartesian product. Relational algebra operation. 
Singer's Cartesian Product Roles Giving Singer's Roles The result of Singer's Cartesian Product Roles gives a new relation, Singer's Roles, showing each tuple from one relation, with each tuple of the other, producing the tuples in the new relation. Each singer is associated with all roles. This produces a relation with 16 tuples, as there were 8 tuples in the relation singers and 2 tuples in the relation roles. Division The relational algebra operation relation A divide by relation B giving relation C requires that the attributes of relation B must be a subset of those of relation A. The relations do not need to be union compatible, but they must have some attributes in common. The attributes of the result, relation C, will also be a subset of those of relation A. Division is the inverse of Cartesian product. It is sometimes easier to think of the operation as similar to division in simple algebra and arithmetic. Let us now see an example in arithmetic. Value A equals 2. Value B equals 3, value C equals 6. Then, value C is the result of value A times value B, that is, 6 equals 2 times 3. And, value C divided by value A gives value B as a result, that is, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And, value C divided by value B gives value A as a result, that is, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. As for the relational algebra, if relation A equals singers, relation B equals roles, relation C equals singers' roles, then relation C is the result of relation A, Cartesian product, relation B, and relation C divide by relation A gives relation B as a result, and relation C divide by relation B gives relation A as a result. If we now divide the relation singer's roles by the relation roles, the resulting relation will be the same as the relation singer's relational algebra operation. Singer's roles divide by roles giving our singers. Similarly, if we divide the relation singer's roles by the relation singer's, the relation that results from this will be the same as the original roles relation. Relational algebra operation. Singers' roles divide by singers giving our roles. Note that there are only two tuples in this relation, although the attributes role ID and role name appeared eight times in the relation singer roles, as each role was associated with each singer intern. Join. Join forms a new relation with all tuples from two relations that meet a condition. The relations might happen to be union compatible, but they do not have to be. The following two relations have a conceptual link, as the stationary orders have been made by some of the singers. Invoice can now be generated for each singer who placed an order. The relation orders identifies the stationary items from the stationary relation that have been requested and shows which customer ordered each item. Here the customer ID matches the singer ID. The singer's relation contains the names and addresses of all singers who are the customers, allowing invoices to be prepared by matching the customers who have placed orders with individuals in the singer's relation. Relational Algebra Operation Join singers to orders where singers, singer ID equals orders, customer ID, giving invoices. The relation singers is joined to the relation orders, where the attribute singer ID in singers has the same value as the attribute customer ID in orders to form a new relation invoices. The attribute which links together the two relations, the identification number, occurs in both original relations and thus is found twice in the resulting new relation. The additional occurrence can be removed by means of a project operation. A version of the join operation, in which such a project is assumed to occur automatically, is known as a natural join. The types of join operation that we have used so far, and that are in fact by far most commonly in use, are called equijoins. This is because the two attributes to be compared in the process of evaluating the join operation are compared for equality with one another. 
It is possible, however, to have variations on the joint operation using operators other than equality. Therefore, it is possible to have a greater than join or a less than join.